Hey everybody, Drew here with Epic Arms and Outdoors. Today we're gonna to be talking about my EDC. Stay tuned. All right, so if you have followed me for any length of time on Instagram, Facebook, or know me in person, you know that I carry a lot of gear on me. Three fourths of it is concealed, and that's the way I like it. I don't want anybody to know that I'm carrying all this stuff for the most part, unless, God forbid, I need to use some of it. Um, so, 95% of the time when I'm outside of work, I am wearing t-shirt, jeans, maybe a hat or something, and that doesn't really change uh, until it becomes summertime in North Carolina. So I know I'm gonna have to switch to shorts here pretty soon, so I'll be carrying a little bit lighter gear and um, you know maybe less gear here and there. Uh, so as far as everyday carry goes, I carry the same stuff every day, but since I am doing reviews and stuff, testing whatnot, uh, some of the items will be interchangeable uh, throughout the week. So I may get a new flashlight in. I'm still gonna carry a flashlight, but it may be a slightly different flashlight, different brand or something like that. Uh, same goes for knives, uh, firearms, all that kind of stuff, or if I get a new holster, that kind of thing. So today I'm gonna go over what I'm carrying on my person today. And as far as the stuff in general, not brand specific or model specific, that stays the same. So I'm always carrying the same stuff, but the actual item, the model may differ. So today, uh, all you can see on me basically, uh, I'm wearing a Minuteman apparel t-shirt, bench made hat, and a Victorinox Alliance uh, wrist watch. It's a black leather band. Uh, it's basically just an analog watch. It does have a uh, calendar date on there as well. Very, very, very uh, nice watch. And I wanna say they run about 100 to $200. I don't know, it was a gift. Um, so I don't know exactly how much they run. But uh, depending on what I'm wearing, I will switch it out to some uh, other watches that I have and I'll roll that footage in right now. So, um, you know, I've got the Fossil, I've got, you know, just a cheap Target watch, I've got a couple G-Shocks, I've got, you know, different watches for what I'm wearing that day or the activity. So if I'm rocking a G-Shock, I'm probably gonna be outside doing, you know, hiking, backpacking, something like that. I'm not gonna carry a free $200 leather watch out into the woods. So that's it as far as the watch goes. I'm always wearing one because uh, I like to know what time it is and I don't want to have to rely on my phone to know exactly what time it is. I can just look down at my wrist. And not everybody wears watches, but it's something I like to do. As far as the firearm, I always carry appendix. Well, I don't want to say always. 90% of the time I'm carrying appendix. I like to carry a spare mag on me. And so I run the tier one Axis Slim for both of my primary carry guns. Today I'm carrying the Glock 43X with the Shield magazines. This is the uh, Spear Gold Dot 124 grain. And with the new Shield magazines, you get 15 rounds with flush fit, so the same as a Glock 19. And then you also get a plus five base plate specific to the Shield S15 mag. So I've got 20 rounds as a backup mag. So I carry that in appendix. As far as the belt goes, it is a Wilder Tactical Minimalist belt. Love those guys. I do have a discount code in the description for those guys. Uh, feel free to use that. It gets you 10% off. And then to the left of the spare magazine, I keep a North American Rescue Gen 7 Cat Tourniquet. Um, have not really found any company that is wanting to or has the time to do a full appendix rig. So kind of like a double side car from T-Rex Arms. I know they did that a while back where they had two magazines. I'm like, hey, I don't need two spare magazines. I want to carry a tourniquet. Um, so if you guys know anybody that's willing to uh, do up a uh, Kydex appendix rig for me where I can get some Kydex coverage on that, feel free to leave that in the description. So that's the gun that I'm carrying. I will also carry a Gen 5 Glock 19 with a TLR7 weapon light on it. Uh, the only reason I don't have a weapon light on the 43X is because nobody has come out with one that I like yet. Uh, if they made a TLR7 for the 43X, that would be awesome. And uh, as far as the TLR6 goes, 100 lumens just is nothing. Uh, from personal experience, trying to clear a house with a keychain flashlight just does not work. You need to have a weapon light on your gun. Uh, so primarily the 43X goes with me. If I'm out and about during the day and I don't foresee myself being out after dark, I'll carry the 43X. It's lighter, has the same capacity as a Glock 19, thanks to the Shield Arms mags. And I don't have to worry about um, you know, having that extra weight on me. So, you know, that's that's what the 43X is for. If I know I'm gonna be out after dark or if I 
am going out at night, I will carry the 19. So there's that as far as the gun goes. Uh, going to front right pocket. This is where I carry my primary folding knife, which today it is the Benchmade Bug Out. Got to match the hat. Love this knife, super, super lightweight. Got that S30V steel and it's just, it's a great knife. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. You can read the reviews. Uh, secondly, in the front right pocket, I keep a Kydex wallet and this is made by my friend Travis at uh, Rev Holsters. It's just a simple uh, Kydex card holder. Uh, I think I've got maybe 15 cards in there and it does have a money clip on the back. I never carry cash, so I keep a guitar pick there because I play guitar. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and put that stuff back in the pocket. I have a Pocket Riders Leather EDC organizer where I keep a Victorinox Pioneer X and a Fisher Space Pen Bullet. Um, so I, I like to carry a multi-tool on me, but it's not always the most fun thing to be uh, loading your pockets down and then on top of that having a freaking you know Leatherman Rev or a Leatherman Signal or something like that in your pocket. Um, so the Victorinox gets most of the jobs done that I need a multi-tool to do. Um, you've got a bottle opener, a can opener on the Pioneer X. You actually have scissors, you've got a large blade, you've got an awl, and that pretty much covers basically everything I need uh, for a multi-tool while I'm out and about. I have a dedicated toolbox, I've got multi-tools, I've got pliers, I've got needle nose pliers and stuff in the truck. So I'm never that far away from the truck, but if I need something here and now, 95% of the time it's it's a screwdriver and the Victorinox gets it done. So that's what's in my right pocket. Okay, so switching to front left pocket. Today I am carrying my Streamlight Protac 2LX. This is my tactical flashlight because A, I don't have a weapon light on the 43X and B, I always like to have a backup. So if the weapon light goes down, I at least have a backup. This is not used to find your keys on the ground or find something out of your truck or you know looking for the keyhole to your back door or something like that. This is a strictly tactical flashlight and uh, if all else fails you can use it as a coupon and impact weapon um, and I just I love this flashlight. I've had this thing for two or three years now. Never had any issues. It runs on CR 123As or 18650s and I charge it up about once a week and it's good to go. So I keep that in my front left pocket and then I also keep a Bic lighter and some chapstick. Today's is Burt's Bees and then last but not least I keep my truck keys and on here I do keep a uh, Aurora A5 from Rovivon. This thing is actually really 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 bright and it also glows in the dark. Um, I don't remember the exact lumen count. I want to say it's 500 lumens though, and it's literally just a USB rechargeable little flashlight. So this is my look around for stuff flashlight. Uh, I keep it on my keys so I know where it's at. Um, and this thing is just, it's really, really bright. It's got a bunch of different settings. Like I say, it does have that glow in the dark feature and uh, it's just an awesome little keychain light. I do keep a spare Smith & Wesson handcuff key on there. And then the only thing really of note is the Boker AK pry tool slash bottle opener. So that's basically all I keep in my front left pocket. And like I say, the flashlight will get switched out every once in a while. I roll in some footage of the Olight into our Pro Warrior. Um, and that's another flashlight that I carry a lot and uh, switch that out kind of back and forth between this and the Streamlight. All right, so just to kind of wrap things up, uh, like I said earlier with the, uh, the knife, I will carry two knives a lot of the times. So if I do carry a second knife, it is in my back right pocket. And today I'm carrying the Buck and Bear Bluefin Titanium Frame Lock. And uh, like I say, I'm always testing gear. So right now I'm testing the, uh, the Bluefin by Buck and Bear. So if I do carry a backup blade or a secondary uh, folding blade, it always stays in my back right pocket. So with all that being said, that's what I carry every day. Like I say, the gun may be different, the knife may be different, the flashlight, the EDC organizer, depending on what I'm wearing. Uh, you know, if I'm a little bit classier, I may wear a brown watch and carry the, uh, the brown leather EDC organizer. But that's what I carry every day. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment box and uh, feel free to subscribe and like, and uh, you guys have a good day.